Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to protect minority shareholders? Minority shareholders hold less than 50% of a company's shares. Their rights and interests can sometimes be overlooked. Protecting these shareholders is crucial for maintaining fair governance. One essential method is ensuring transparency in financial reporting. Companies must disclose accurate financial information to all shareholders. This allows minority shareholders to make informed decisions. Another important factor is the right to vote on significant corporate actions. Minority shareholders should have a voice in matters such as mergers and acquisitions. This can prevent majority shareholders from making unilateral decisions. Shareholder agreements can provide additional safeguards. These agreements outline the rights and obligations of all shareholders. They can include clauses that protect minority interests, ensuring their voices are heard. Additionally, minority shareholders can seek legal remedies. If they believe their rights are being violated, they can pursue actions such as derivative lawsuits. This legal avenue allows them to act on behalf of the company against wrongdoers. Engaging in active dialogue with management is also beneficial. Minority shareholders should express their concerns and suggestions. This can foster a collaborative environment that values all shareholders' input. Lastly, regulatory frameworks exist to protect minority shareholders. Laws such as the Securities Exchange Act provide protections against unfair practices. Understanding these laws can empower minority shareholders in their rights. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.